Hello everybody! Welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and you guys have no idea why I'm laughing, but <laughs> I can't help it. Sometimes when you start recording and you try to do everything in one take, it doesn't quite go as planned and you end up laughing your butt off at yourself and deciding whether or not you should keep it or not. In this case, it was a not. I only got a few seconds in before I flubbed it all up, which has been happening more and more lately, so I apologize if I've been a little off my game. But I am trying to make things a little bit better for you guys. Now, I know there's been a few people asking about why I'm only using the M55 Tornado. And that is because currently my other Tier 10 already, that I, or my actual Tier 10 already that I would otherwise use, which is the Bat Chat 155-58, for some reason or another is damaged beyond repair and it will not allow me to use it so until I can get a hold of Wargaming and get them to fix it it's out of service so we're stuck with the M55 Tornado but that's okay right I mean I could technically run the the uh, T92 or I did unlock the uh, Conqueror gun carriage but I'm not a fan of that one at all like, it makes the T92 look like a, an accurate artillery <laughs> that's how bad that is it's been nerfed to crap literally Anyway, so I'm on San... No, I'm not. I'm on El Haluf, and I'm going down to G0, F, F0, somewhere in there. And the reason being is because right down here in this back corner where everybody likes to sit and hide is the perfect spot for me to shoot them in the backside. Now, watch this M48 Patton. Shot out. Now, he's not lit up, but he is now dead. <laughs> I don't care who you are, folks. That's a paddling. He went from full health to no health and zero seconds flat. <laughs> when you're dead that quickly, you have one choice, and that is, I'm done for the night, guys. It's been fun, but I'm done. <laughs> that's, that's the cue to just leave for the night. But if that's the start of the game, imagine what this game's going to turn into, right? So, shot out. Oh, come on. And I... I missed him and tracked somebody else that I couldn't even see. So no damage there, but we did track him. So, you know, not bad. Now we have these E3s begging for it. Come on. I want to get loaded so I can punch an E3. Come on. You know you want it. And... Shot out. Pow! 801, and we ammo rack him, and come on! There's the finishing shot. Nice shot, artillery. Now, I will give you a little bit of he uh, heads up here, folks. This match isn't about the rest of the team. This match is about what our artillery are going to do in this match. And it's not just me, alright? There are three of us on this team, and all three of us kick some serious booty. Now, I take the shot at the IS-7, and unfortunately it falls short. You can see half of my reticle is blocked by the mountain. But I was thinking, you know, there is a slight chance that that shell is going to go exactly where I aim, and that IS-7 is going to have a bad day. Because an 8-inch howitzer into the side of an IS-7 is almost a guaranteed kill. Shot, uh, come on. Shot out. And we hit the hill again. So I'm not going to... I don't think I take another shot at him, but you can see I'm trying to force it. And you got to watch doing that because you'll waste a lot of time and miss a lot of tanks. Now this T-57, he's alive and he shouldn't be. And watch, I let him live. All right? I let him live. I should have finished him right there, but I'm like E-50M, backside to an 8-inch howitzer. And then I miss my opportunity on the... Uh, T-57. That's an auto-loading heavy tank. I should have shot him nine times out of ten. I would shoot him. But that E-50M was just too too squishy a target not to not to shoot at. And I completely missed him. So I've, I've lost not only the opportunity to do damage there, but I've also failed my team miserably by not killing that T-57. Now, I got a little damage hungry in this game. And that's a dangerous thing when you're in your arty. Like I said, now I tried to take the blind shot on T-57 thinking he was going to stop. And he actually either kept rolling or he pulled up and my shot didn't hit him. So now we have a T-57 who is absolutely tearing our team to pieces. And it's all my fault. 
Now I'm going to try to make up for it by hitting this M103. Come on. He moved forward. Shot, oh, shot out. And he's going to keep backing up. So I completely whiffed that. Plus I hit the mountain anyway. So it didn't do me a bit of good. Now our team is starting to lose the match. And like I said, I'm taking full responsibility for that due to the fact that I didn't kill that T-57. And he has continued to absolutely ruin my team. It's just... And the worst part is, I just realized, I know that name. And I missed him again. But that guy was in a game prior to this with me, and he did the same thing where he just absolutely ruined the team. So, uh, yeah, but except that time he was on my team, so it didn't really matter. But seriously, man, never, if you have a chance to kill a tank, take it. Don't get damage hungry and look at this shot. Oh, my God. And we splash him for 400. That should have been a kill, folks. I mean, that, that T-32, he played right into my hand. But it happens. When you make as many bad shots as I've made it, or, you know, miss all the shots that I've already missed in this, you can't be angry that you actually splash somebody for 500. When you've, oh, shot at the E-50, come on. And we splash him for 349. He just got forward of where I had had aimed. So unfortunately for us, that didn't go so well. Focus now, it's down to 5 versus 8. That's not preferable, guys. 5 on 8. I mean, it's not completely impossible, but it is going to take some work. So we have 3 artillery, and like I said, us 3 artillery do some work. Now, the one thing I will say, if you guys are in this, uh, in watching my video here, and you were in this match with me as an arty, please start calling your shots. Um, it didn't really affect me any, because I, did, I knew to wait for you guys to shoot before I shot. But you guys shot at the same target a lot. Uh, I was going to take the shot, and look, two shots from artillery hit him at the exact same time. One person would have killed him, guaranteed. So now they're both reloading. And I will mention this as well. The M55 that has moved over to me, uh, he is a, a uh, two-marked artillery player as well. So he knows what he's doing. Uh, but he does make some questionable decisions here in a few minutes. But anyway, so we are waiting for the next tank to be spotted. And we know that our tank destroyer is right there, so we should be able. Now, I look back just a little bit, and the moment I do, they spot the tank coming around the corner. So he gets... Hit by the M55 that's next to me. I zoom in. I put the shot out. And I finish the T32 right there. So he's dead. E50 moves up. He's... Yep. There we go. Unfortunately, our tank destroyer is no longer with us. Come on, heavy tank. Get that E50 off the board. Come on, Artie. Can you hit him? Yes, you can. Nice kill. Nice kill. Nice teamwork, fellas. Unfortunately, we're getting whittled away. And that's the problem. It is still 4v6, but that's a much better situation than, you know, what we were just in, which was 5v, 5v8. So we've killed three to them killing one. That's that's a good standard, you know. You want to keep living by that. Now, the one heavy tank that's left alive is none other than our T-57 heavy that I left alive right off the bat. I should have finished him instead of shooting at that E-50. It was a guaranteed kill, and I didn't take it. And it could come back to cost us the match, but only time will tell. We've still got six and a half minutes. Uh, we've, we're playing the waiting game. we got no advantage here. Oh, no. The guy that's in front of me just gave away our position, and this is why I'm not a fan of other arty players on my team. So I had a great spot. That guy was going to drive right past us. No problem. He would have went for the other arty. I could have shot him in the backside. All was well. Now this guy gives up our location, the guy immediately turns around, comes towards us, and I have to get in position to shotgun because this guy just missed his shot. So I pull up here, and it won't take very long. Here he is. And 1603. Say it with me, folks. That's a paddling. Now here come the reign of terror. I back up, trying to get away from the arty rounds. I pull forward. There's the second. And can I get away from the third? No. It's a T-92, unfortunately. That... That T-92 splash radius, if he'd have hit within 50 yards of me, he'd have killed me. <laughs> so I'm taken out of the game, but I did go out with a paddling. You can't argue with that. So this guy, 
uh, Nylar, I think. Ny Nyar? I don't remember. Something like that. He has two marks on his M55, and it is not an easy tank to two mark. Some people say otherwise. I struggled with it for a while. Then again, I take a lot of stupid shots instead of just going, you know, with what is easy. <laughs> so this guy has a chance to get this RHM. Is he going to go down and shotgun him? It would be an easy one-shot kill, but you're taking a huge risk. That T-57 could be anywhere. You get spotted, and luckily the French tank ends that RHM, taking him up to, I believe, three or four kills now. Looks like he's at three. So we've got three kills. He's got three kills. This other guy's got, I believe, one. And our... Artie is out doing spotting. Here's the other, here's the object 261. Come on. He fires a ill-advised shot. 261 fires as well. The 261 will be reloaded before this M55. But he's in a good spot. It's hard to tell what that other Artie's gonna do. He's just gonna try to keep him spotted so that we can hit him. And he's ramming down the hill. I don't know what that 261 is doing, but he just ruined his chance at getting anything. He was hoping to catch this guy by surprise. It didn't happen, and you're going to pay with your life. And there we go again. Now you can see that they didn't call the shot, and then they both shot at the same tank. So now they're both reloading at the same time, and that pretty much seals what we can do if you're all shooting at the same target. Now the bat chat reloads pretty quick. I think it's about 16 seconds, 17 seconds, something like that. So that's not too bad. But we have our heavy and our arty. Unfortunately, the T-57 that I left alive just snuck up behind the arty that was killing everybody and ends him with four kills. Now the M-55 takes a shot in the dark, doesn't hit him. <clears throat> So it's down to a T-32 versus, or a T-32 and an M-55 versus an M-55, T-92, and T-57. That's a rough way to go, folks. But can they do it? Can they pull it off? Would I be showing you this if they didn't pull it off? I know that's what you're thinking. But just bear with me, folks. You never know what could happen. Now they spot this M-55 right here. And this T-32 has to get a shot at him. Come on, he's nailed him. And wait for the T-92. There's the T-92, just pull up, don't get shot. Your ammo wrecked. And wait for it. T-57 gets him. Another unfortunate loss of life that should have been avoided. Now T-57 is spotted. Shot in the dark and nails him. T-57 down, that leaves an M-55 versus an M-55 and a T-92 with two minutes left. All right, we know that the M-55 is down in the center. We know that the T-92 is over on the far left side at about B-3. So if this guy plays this right, he could potentially pull this off. But he's got himself in a predicament. He can be spotted well before he gets that gun around, and there's two guys. One of them will be moving. The other one is stationary, just begging for this guy to stop. So that's your, that's what you're in. The good news is, if you can roll down that hill and get into, and this is where I think he makes his mistake. Okay. Me personally, in this position, I would not stay here. You know that they know where you are. You know that the M55 is going to push you. He's in a spot to uh, potentially shotgun the guy if the guy comes around the corner. But all the other guy is going to do is just roll up close enough to spot you, and that T-92 is going to drop around right on your head. So in this case, I would have pushed the issue. Um, I like to dictate the terms of the engagement, and there, unfortunately, now you're spotted. You better get close to the hill, or that T-92 will drop around on you. Now they're, they're playing a little bit of hide-and-seek. We got 45 seconds left in this match. We're not going to win, folks. There's no way. Unless these guys on the other side are both right next to each other and are both getting ready to be shotgunned by this 8-inch howitzer. That's the only chance we have to win this because he can't even reload at this point. 
uh, right now he cannot reload. If he fires his shot off, he will not reload before the game ends. So, are they next to each other? Is he going to dash around the corner and shoot them? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Come on, you guys know that's funny. <laughs> Seven seconds, six seconds, five, four, and... Yeah, you guys knew that was going to happen. I mean, <laughs> he didn't have a choice. It was either that or they were going to draw it out. He didn't want to draw it out. So I give him props for at least trying to kill the guy. But, you know, I do three kills, 5,200 damage. Both of them both get over uh, 3,000 damage each. So between the three already, we killed seven, eight, nine, nine tanks and did over 11,000 damage. So if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.